How much does it cost to acoustically treat my room? It's a question we get a lot, and while it seems straightforward enough, the answer actually depends on more than a few variables. It's often said that you should spend half of your budget on electronic equipment and the other half on acoustic treatment. It doesn't make sense to spend thousands of dollars on a sound system only for the room to alter and distort the sound coming out of that system. The size and shape of your room are also going to be big factors on determining your treatment strategy. Coverage area is the most important factor when determining the effectiveness of any treatment strategy. So the larger your room is, the more treatment you'll need within that room to effectively control the sound. Your desired application for the room will also dictate your treatment. A live record room in a home theater will have different needs. And even between live record rooms, our method of treatment might change based off of the type of instruments we're recording or the number of instruments we intend to record at once. Your own personal preference for both visual aesthetic and sound will also greatly determine what treatment you end up with. If you're looking to maximize your budget and get the most out of your treatment, there are a few things you can do. Make sure you select a good listening position and speaker placement and focus treatment on the first reflections between those. Calculating your room modes and testing your room for problem areas can give you an idea of where peaks and knolls are popping up and where you should focus your treatment. If you're treating an office, school, or congregation where the main goal is reducing the echo from human speech, then the GIK website has a handy acoustic panels calculator that will give you a rough estimate on how many panels you'll need to effectively reduce the echo based off of your room's dimensions. The panel calculator is based off of our 2-inch spot panel, and while the spot panel performs very well for general applications, the low frequencies in music and movies will require a thicker panel to effectively treat. The truth is, as long as we're using the right balance of treatment options, then the more treatment we can fit within a space, the better that space is going to sound. The thicker the panel, the better the bass response, and on a high budget room we want to strike a good balance between absorption, bass trapping, and various forms of diffusion. So when you're budgeting for your room, first determine how much you have that you're willing to spend on treatment, and then from there we can look at what the most optimal treatment is based off of your budget. Let's take a look at a typical small size studio and see what kind of treatment we end up at different budgets. At around 600, you could treat your first reflections with 242s and your corners with 244s. With this treatment, you'll have a noticeable improvement in your room with a cleaner stereo image. You can actually bundle and save on treatment at this level by starting off with one of GIK's room kits. These are a great way to kickstart your treatment, and we can always add more to get a better performance out of your room. With a budget of $1,000, you can treat your room with 244s, which arguably gives the most cost-effective improvement of any GIK product within this budget. 244s are versatile enough that they can be used in any role. Corner base trap, reflection points are on the sidewalls and ceilings, just to name a few. At around two to 3,000, we can start to approach a more comprehensive strategy. We have more coverage area with thicker bass traps for better performance under 100 hertz and diffusion to balance out the room. We also have a bit left over for fabric upgrades and alternative plate designs and finishes. At 4,000, we can use even thicker panels for the corners with range limiters for even better performance under 100 hertz, as well as a more comprehensive diffusion strategy. This is just one example of a typical room on a standard budget. There's always room for more panels on the vertical corners for better bass response or for thicker panels in your first reflections for more performance there. It's not uncommon to see a professional studio completely encased in treatment. So if there's room for more treatment, there's probably room for the sound to improve as well. If you have any more questions about acoustic treatment, visit us on our website. And if you fill out our free acoustic advice form, one of our designers will work with you and help you get the most cost-effective option for your space. Get free acoustic advice. Visit GIKacoustics.com for educational articles and tutorials.